Ask Reddit by tying this. What's something you wish the internet would stop clutching their pearls about? Blaming the internet for things that a hundred years ago were blamed on something else. I was listening to a history book the other day and they quoted someone's screed from the 1500s talking about how women's fashion was too revealing and it was making men degenerates. Tale as old as at least 500 years ago, I guess. I'm certain there were some ancient Greeks bitching about that, too. Having to care about everything all the time. No breaks, not a single moment of unawareness or less than 100% information. You've got to know and be concerned about everything, or you're an enabler of the problem. Shit is exhausting. Yup. And I know some of those same people talk about mental health, lol. They also say that not being aware all the time is a privilege. I think privilege is a very overused word. I wish we could drop less extreme than me means you're against me completely and are in fact the enemy. I mean it's occasionally been that way before the internet, but now we can echo that bull at too many people at once. Try talking about not putting capital punishment on their favorite crime, even for the simple fact that false convictions are a thing, and all of a sudden you're a supporter of their favorite crime and need to be put down yourself. See related, mob justice. See also, fandom. The appearance of several Olympians. People are furious because Gabby Douglas hair isn't styled correctly, like holy crap or the peculiar appearance of Katie Ledecky. Jesus people, what accomplishments have you made? These folks have gold medals. I thought you meant like Zeus and crowd at first. Any sort of parasocial relationships, I keep getting recommended posts from our entertainment. The latest was something about Shakira and her ex, and some of the comments were nuts no one should be that involved in someone else's relationship. The Sister Wives, TLC show, is kinda extra as one of the children has committed suicide. It's all about their grief and sadness about Zoe and who appeared on a TV show. I think it's kinda weird. That the world is filled with nothing but evil. I saw a post asking if people alive 80 years ago would think today was a dystopia. Like, for 80 years ago, we were in the middle of the biggest and most brutal war in the history of humanity. I don't think people understand how good we have it now, because they spend so much time on the internet reading about how bad we have it. Shit talking other generations for issues we are all dealing with. Not everything is the boomer's fault. And not everything can be blamed on Gen Z. The internal differences between people in a given generation are so much greater than the differences between the generations that I really question how useful the concept is. Preserving their echo chambers. Shit gets annoying and does nothing but cause division. Not everyone in an age gap relationship is groomed. Also, words like gaslight, groom, influence and abuse have lost a significant amount of their meaning. OMG yes it drives me nuts when people use the word gaslight to mean lying which is a totally misuse of the word. Sex between consenting adults. Honestly. Just get over it that not everyone is the same likes the same things. I say live and amp. Let live and if it's between adults who are consenting and are capable of consenting fly your freak flag. I'm pretty vanilla but I'm not going to yuck on someone's yum just cause it ain't my flavor. However the important part of that was the words consenting and adults. If either of those two caveats isn't followed I say rain down hell. Try to often to explain people the concept of cheating in a repen relationship watch their heads explode. Influencers. The down spiral some get in due to algorithm. Blaming kids bad behavior on having phones I think phones contribute but come on, that's completely caused by the parents. I think it's blamed on phones because of this. 1. Parents don't want to hear their kids or their kids are being little assholes. 2. Because of this, 
they put them in front of a screen to appease them and get some quiet. 3. They don't put limits on what the kids could watch, thus resulting in an annoying little shit who won't stop saying skibidi guyat at any given time. Calling posters of unpopular comments boomers. For instance on reddit the fair question to be asked is how many real boomers are actually on this platform? Or calling women who stand up for themselves Karens. I've become afraid of standing up for myself or even politely returning an incorrect order at a restaurant for fears of being labeled a Karen. Yeah sometimes I personally feel like the Karen trope is a little misogynistic. Like yeah there certainly are entitled people who fit the archetype but not every woman standing up for themselves should be labeled as a Karen. Every little fucking thing. Censorship is really, really, really over the top nowadays. I wish we could go back to the old internet before it became this mainstream censored pussy shit. We're down to the point where content creators have to say dumbass shit like unalived or else they get in trouble. You got a pussy foot around every little fucking thing or someone might get offended. I want the old wild west internet back. Reddit is guilty of this too. With how often it needs to be repeated to people that portraying a subject in media is not the same as agreeing with it. People like to feel like victims so they can justify being a bully. The one stop shop of divorce him leave him instead of open communication with your partner. Of creators. I literally don't understand why men get so triggered by them. They are just earning money and benefiting off a society that men created. They are happy to use Pornhub and support some CEO but so many of them harass and belittle the women who are doing the same. If you don't want to support them, then don't. I also love how they'll be like they clearly wanted me to go to their profile and I saw it on there. Looking for meaning in stuff when there isn't any. Sometimes, a picture is just a picture. Deleted. The Jane Austen sub has several people who drive me mad wringing their hands over the ages of some of the heroines. They ought to look in their own family trees and see the ages that many of their female ancestors married at. What I see, a cute video of a puppy chasing a butterfly. What some people in RAWWC, creative writing assignment, come up with a way for this to actually be animal abuse. Someone made a virial video about how videos of dogs walking on their hind legs were probably made by dog abusers in China to farm clicks. Ever since then, even the most innocent pet video has someone in the comments trying to come up with a way for us to be encouraging animal abuse by liking the video. A puppy chasing a butterfly? A butterfly? Those are innocent creatures that this dog's owner is cruelly allowing the absolute torment of for clout. Not to mention that poor puppy won't even catch the butterfly pretending that that is okay for a moment which means they will be denied satisfaction. They will learn that happiness is unattainable and we are all destined to suffer like Tantalus in Hades forever grasping at what he cannot reach. Or something like that. I'm an atheist and I'm still tired of hearing about the evils of religion. I struggle with religion. I want to believe but I just can't believe there's a place in the sky filled with angels and clouds and a big guy named God handing out passes to a Buddy Holly concert. But it honestly seems that some atheists are more obsessed with being against religion than some people are about believing in religion. It's like hey, you know your obsession with the evils of religion? It's no different than someone obsession of the pros of religion. It's really strange. Fat people being happy. Fat people just existing. Porn. Not everyone is a porn addict. The use of any porn ever does not make you an addict. Fictional content. Drawings are not real. They don't have feelings or memories or consciousness and it is really weird that people online are acting like they do. Remember a few years ago when Steven Universe fan artist was bullied to the point of almost suicide because she drew the character's tooth and art. Trans people. People won't shut up about them on Facebook. Same old tired memes and jokes over and over again. 
this. This is what I came here to say. What the fuck is with the bizarre fetish right wingers have for MTF people? And it's always MTF and it's always rabidly hateful.